summarize what you've been saying. What are the punchlines? Why is this wrong? Why is this right? Why are you stuck with a Jesus, a real Jesus of traditional Christianity? Summarize it. Alternative Christianities are wrong because the sources that they're working with are light. Alternative Christianities are wrong because the sources that they're working with do not go all the way back to Jesus. Alternative Christianity is wrong because it's working with the wrong kind of problem. I don't need to find an actualization into myself in order to discover the way to God. Jesus has got to be a key to Christianity in order for Christianity to be Christianity. Without it, it's jesus entity or something else, but it's not Christianity. Traditional Christianity is right because it goes all the way back to Jesus. Traditional Christianity is right because the sources are well-rooted. Traditional Christianity is right because it identifies the right kind of problem. That problem is a problem within us, our tendency to turn away from God in rebellion. And what Jesus has provided is a way to turn us back, to bring reconciliation. And uh, this isn't a matter of the classroom. This is a matter of life life and death. And the offer that God is making is not an intellectual offer about history. It's not, uh, it's not even an issue of ideas or wisdom or how to live life better. He's not offering you a pop religion, which is what these alternatives are doing. What he is offering you is an ongoing, eternal, quality relationship with God. Forget the fact that if you come to Jesus, you're not going to be judged. That's not why God wants to save you. God doesn't want to save you to spare you from something. God wants to save you to bring you to someone himself. And he does that by showing the depth of his love and the work and person of Jesus Christ, the offer of the forgiveness of sins. And if you'll just trust him for that, he will bring you into relationship with him by doing two major things, forgiving your sins and giving you his spirit so you can be in touch with him. And you can be in touch with him forever. Jesus said, I came to give you life and to give it to you abundantly. So we're talking about quality of life here. You know, the world goes all over the place searching for quality of life. And it can be found very simply in trusting Jesus Christ.